I'm not sure who needs to hear this message, but it's about to change your life. I remember when I was in elementary school, like second and third grade, my favorite game to play at recess was called Tag You're It. And it went a little something like this. As soon as it was time to go outside, I would run up to somebody and boom, I would tag them. But here's the tricky part. The person who I tagged, they might have that back to me. They, probably, they was doing something else. All of a sudden, they just get a tag and they turn around like, who just hit me? And that's where you let them know, hey, I tagged you, you it. And, and you know, you laugh and you look at their expression to see if they're interested, right? And they look back at you <laughs> and you see a big laugh. And then they take off running after you and you go play. And y'all just get to play in that recess. You remember that game, right? And as I was thinking about that today, the Lord was showing me. He's been tagged us. When are we going to turn around and pursue him? He already sent his son to die on the cross for our sins. He already bankrupt heaven. How did he bankrupt heaven? He sent all he had. He sent his son to die on the cross for your sins. His word says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. He's been there every single step of the way. He's been tagged us multiple times. Tagging, tagging, tagging. And what God wants, he wants us to pursue him. He wants us to hunger. The Bible says, uh, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for him in righteousness. They shall be filled. The Bible also says, like a deer pants for water. <sighs> you know how a deer pants for water? It says, like a deer pants for water. So my soul longs for you, O Lord. And every day we need to be hungering and thirsting and pursuing him and getting into his word. Because when you open his book, he opens his mouth. God is always speaking, but he wants to get our attention in such a busy world. When are we going to make time for God? When are we going to pursue him? And then just like those rules in the game of tag, right? See, when you're going after somebody, boy, you don't stop until you get them. It don't matter if the teacher blow the whistle after five minutes and say, Shoo, recess is over. Everybody go back there. That don't matter. I will run inside your classroom and tag you because the game is still on. It don't matter what nobody talking about. I won't stop until I tag you back and listen to me. <laughs> don't let nothing in this world stop you from pursuing God. It don't matter if you depress, suppress, oppress. It don't matter. You still go after God. Because God will give you that strength. He'll give you that peace. His word says he'll give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. Keep on going after him. Ooh, keep on going after him, boy. Listen to me. Some people, they're going to see you running after God. They're going to look at you crazy. They're going to say, hey, what you doing? You on that God thing now? Do you tell them, yeah? Then I'm going to tell you, do they see your life changing? And then they want to know more. Then you start sharing your testimony. Then, then before you know, everybody running on the track after God. We just want to run after you, Lord. Ooh. Listen to me. The Bible says he calls us uh, out of the darkness into the marvelous light. He saved me. I know I was in darkness. I was in pitch black darkness. He calls him. He called me out of the darkness into the marvelous light. And guess what? Now I'm running for him, boy. And I am not going to ever stop. I'm going to keep on going. See, it's like a kaleidoscope. Just when you think you know God, he has another level. And you get more and more and more. You're learning more and more. And, and look, oh, man, listen to me. It's like drinking a bottle of water. The more you drink, the thirstier you get. You ever seen one of them big swole dudes with a big gallon of water? <laughs> they be the thirstiest people in the world. Because the more water you drink, the thirstier you get, the more your lips get dry. Your body adapts and wants more of what you've been giving it. So the more you go after him, the more you want him. Oh, boy, I could run about 852 miles right now. Come on, the more get your knees up. Get your knees up, the more we running after him. They, hey, let me show y'all something right quick. I saw it a couple of minutes ago. Well, look at this right here. Tell me what this right here look like. Hey, my bad. I had to edit that part out the video. It was a lot of needles and syringes that was out there. So uh, it was a little too graphic. I decided to take it out the video. But let's get back to it. People out here in this world, they hurting, man. Got with the needles doing all kind of stuff out here. It's a hurting world. People need to hear about Jesus. That's why I'm out here. That's why I walk and pray out here. I'm covering this whole area. Somebody who, who ends up doing all that kind of stuff, they're going to come out here and say, man, something different about the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's because, man, we don't plead the blood of Jesus over this place. You got me? You got me? God wants you to go after him. 
And while you're going after him, you might just see a needle in the ground. You might just see this or that or whatever. Don't forget to stop and pray for some people along the way. Well, <laughs> while you're running, you could be praying. Ooh, thank you for giving me this, Lord. The Bible says faith without works is dead. That means the more because you need to run while you pray. <laughs> Sitting around here <laughs> talking about, I want a six pack. You, you got faith, DeMarcus. You believe in it. Now, where your works at? Come on, DeMarcus. Get your knees up, boy. Get your knees up. Whatever you believe in God for. Yeah, pray about it. But also put some work in. Ooh, we pursuing him. We love you so much, Lord. Tag you it. You need to go after God with everything you got. Boy, it's cold out here. My nose turning red. Hey, I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit that like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I'm going after God because that's right. No matter who it separates you from or identifies you with, always choose to go with God because that's the way to go. Get your knees up, DeMarcus. Hey, <laughs> I love you so much. I'll see you on the next video.